As the UK heads towards leaving the EU with no agreement in place, the many pro-Remain organisations that make up Project Fear are fighting each other for the most outlandish claim to ramp up hysteria surrounding a no-deal Brexit. There are roughly about 197 countries in the world, give or take. Um, only 28 of them are members of the European Union, including Britain, we haven't left yet. And they have no problem whatsoever in trading with the EU without a deal. While these shadowy pro-Remain figures will try to make you believe that leaving the EU under WTO rules will be a car crash for the UK economy, fact is, there will be no crashing out. Instead, the UK will be cashing in. If we leave the European Union under WTO terms, that will actually benefit Britain. We will be better off than having some kind of trade deal imposed upon us, which will be to the EU's benefit and not ours. Well, trade organisation roles known as the WTO, are a diverse range of international agreements aimed at encouraging and aiding the international trade of a wide range of goods and services. And things covered by the WTO include agriculture, textiles, clothing, banking, telecommunications, government purchases, industrial standards and product safety, food sanitation, intellectual property, and much, much more. While the remit of the WTO is wide, the agreements are founded upon just a few common sense principles. Trade without discrimination, free trade through negotiation, predictability through binding and transparency, promoting a fair competition, and encouraging development and economic reform. The World Trade Organization oversees trade relationships between 164 member nations, which taken together make up 98% of world trade. We don't need a trade deal any more than those other countries who are not in the EU. The UK will have the ability to trade with the whole world on our own terms. The last two and a half years of supposedly negotiating this withdrawal agreement with the European Union have actually been an elaborate charade. We have a Remainer, Mrs May, in charge of the leaving process. And this whole thing has been founded on a number of spurious arguments, uh, non-existent problems that needed to be solved before we can leave. All of this is totally false. All the WTO rules are designed to facilitate international trade, not to hinder it, which suits some remainers to suggest. This is despite the WTO demanding that there will be no discrimination between goods on the basis of their country of origin and offering easy answers to many of the Brexit problems that have been presented as insurmountable by some people. And while we hear veiled threats from the EU leaders that they will attempt to make UK produced goods unsellable in the EU, there is little to back these threats if they are to remain WTO members themselves. Take the threats to stop the UK exporting fish to the EU if we do not allow access to our waters from EU vessels. Now the simple fact is to place non-tariff barriers in the way of fish exports through excessive health and safety inspections or any other artificial blocking would be prohibited on the WTO's sanitary and phytosanitary and technical barriers to trade agreements. As for the question of the Irish backstop, this is nothing more than an invented political issue. Under the WTO's new trade facilitation agreement, the EU is obliged to keep its borders as frictionless as possible by using all means possible. The real issue here is not one of legal barriers to trade, lack of technology or the absence of international law, Instead, it's about a lack of political will to do the right thing and get the UK out of the EU in the cleanest way possible.